Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Sorry I haven't posted earlier on today, but life be life in. Yesterday I spent almost half of the day at the ER because my little one had a horrible um, accident. And today I had to book emergency dental appointments. So <sighs> it's just been one... <laughs> One hell of a weekend. Everything I planned just went lopsided. But anyway, I hope you're all doing well, right? And how are you? Like, how are things where you are? Let me know in the comment section. Um, so in this video. All right, moms at TikTok, I need your help. So is it my job as the dad of my children to make sure that it is food in their mother's refrigerator? Is that my obligation? We are not together. We co-parent. She works, I work, we both have households. Is it my job as the child's father to fill her fridge up? And then if I do not fill her fridge up, am I a piece of shit? Please, I need y'all to answer this. All right, let me clear up a few things that y'all just don't know from my last post. I co-parent. I have my children three and a half days out of the week. That's every week. I do not pay child support because I take care of my kids. My oldest is not my biological and I've been taking care of her for the last six years and I will continue to do so for the rest of her life. Even though me and her mom is not together, she is still my daughter. She is still part of my family and will continue. Why would I fill up her refrigerator? Because she refuses to spend her money wisely. I have bills. I have insurance to pay. I have rent to pay. I got DTE to pay. I have a refrigerator to fill. I have kids clothes to buy. I have doctor's appointments to go to. So why would I do that? Yeah. I know we spoke about this, I think somewhere last week when there was this lady who was talking about if she doesn't understand why we don't put clothes for the kids um, when they are going to see their dads, right? And all of us came to this conclusion, at least most of the comments I saw in the comment section was uh, a lot of you saying that the father needs to have his own stuff and the mother also has to have her own stuff, right? So we're going to apply the same to this situation. Right. Let me know in the comment section, because I believe that most of the times is because most moms suffer from mom guilt to the point that even though they don't have it like that, they try to put a lot of things on their plate when they can easily give dad more days. Or don't do that 50, 50 thing, like do 70, 30, 80, 20. So you can sort yourself out. Okay. Because of what he was saying, I'm just going off what he said, right? If he's got it like that and you believe that he's a great dad and he's taking care of them, there's no need for you to be there and not have it right like that. If you don't have it like that, just communicate with him. Let him understand that, Hey, I need to sort myself out. So I will need you to have them four more days in the week, five more days. So I'll do the week. Okay, because at this point in time, if I don't do that, it's not going to go well because I'll be expecting you to, you know, help me out here and there. But I don't have enough for that. Right. So let's go and hear the responses. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section and I will be back to talk some more. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. All right, moms at TikTok, I need your help. I'm a mom. I'd love to help. What's going on? Well, is it my job? as the dad of my children to make sure that it is food in their mother's refrigerator. Is that my obligation? We are not together. We co-parent. She works, I work, we both have households. Please, I need y'all to answer this. Is it your responsibility to make sure that your baby mama's fridge is full? No, but is it your responsibility as a father to ensure that your kids eat and are provided for whether they're in your custody or hers? Absolutely. This isn't about whether or not you guys are together anymore or not. This is about making sure that your children are being well provided for and taken care of. And if you have even the slightest inkling that she can't do it or can't do it right now, you should go to court and see if you can get full custody. 
A good father doesn't stop being a father even when it's her time with the kids. She might be the one who's struggling financially right now. There might come a time where you get laid off or you get fired and you're the one who's struggling with your half of the daycare bill or your half of the food bill or your half of the cost of uniforms and it might be you who needs her. The kids don't care whose job it was to feed them. They just need to eat. And truthfully, when you're a parent, everything that has to do with that child and their well-being is your job. That's why you probably heard about baby mamas sending their child to go be with the father and he doesn't even have a car seat or a crib or clothes or a room over there for the child. She doesn't care whose job it is. She just gets it done. That's what you need to do. To make sure that it is food in their mother's refrigerator. I don't think co-parenting means what you think it means. Um, let me tell you a little story. My daughter's father and I have not been together for five years. We've been divorced for two. I was recently laid off and I needed to choose some new healthcare options now that I have a new job. The new job has a $10,000 high deductible plan. And he said to me, choose the job that you want and we'll figure out the deductible later. And then he said to me, after I chose the job with the high deductible plan, he said, if I need to front load that HSA a couple thousand dollars so that our daughter can get the care that she needs, please let me know and I will put that in the HSA. No questions asked. I didn't ask him to do that. He volunteered that because it's his job as a parent to ensure that our child is taken care of. Now. You're asking a question about putting food in the refrigerator of their mother. Your children also live there. That is their refrigerator. That is their food. And you're, you just need to make sure that they are taken care of. If that means putting food in her refrigerator, that means putting food in her refrigerator. Hey, baby, you don't know me. I'm that one chick uno, the world's favorite sister, auntie, cousin, homie. I'm not a mother, but I do have big auntie vibes. And as a big auntie, I'm going to tell you right now, baby, no, you are not a piece of shit if you do not fill your baby mama refrigerator up. You're a piece of shit if you do not fill your child's belly up. That's wherein the problem lies. But no, it is not your job to fill her refrigerator. If she works and she want to call herself a mother, then what she needs to do is make sure that her child is provided for. It is not your job to fill her refrigerator. It's your job to provide for your child. Now, since that's all the context you gave me, I can't speak too much on everything else you got going on in your life. But if she's walking through life, not keeping her refrigerator full, you may want to walk her ass through a court proceeding and take custody of your child. If you got custody, it don't matter if her refrigerator is full as long as yours is. Oh, is it my? Hey, I just wanted to jump in here and say this. Um, not to keep you. I want to say this. I'm in support of you being a great dad. I'm in support of you doing for your kids. But if you have to question um, how you do for your kids and how much you do for your kids, you need to pray. And you need to pray and fast. And I know that's, I don't know if you're familiar with that. And I know church people don't beat it down. But I'm telling you from experience, when I struggled with something, raising my kids, that's what I did. And God worked it out. The thing is, is that you're going to be dealing with those with your baby mom or your kid's mother I don't like saying baby mom they've really put a damper on that your kid's mother for the rest of your life you know why because you're gonna have grandkids you're gonna have all these events to go to weddings birthday parties and all this so you're gonna see her forever the thing is now that you've had the kids and you're no longer together get a mutual respect and a lot of people don't like to do this because like I ain't got tired of my finances you should because you shouldn't be having laying down with somebody you can't trust you know, you should discuss your finances so each of you can see what you can and cannot do. And sometimes whoever is a better person with the finances can help figure something out. Now, sometimes it takes for you as a man to be present, even though you don't live in a house, because maybe where money is leaking out, she can't see. And I'm not saying she's not a good keeper for her household because it could be vice versa. What I'm saying is y'all make parenting so hard, like y'all still with the person. It's not hard. Treat her as a best friend, someone you love. You did love her, right? So show respect that she carried your seed. She carried your seed. 
she gave life to your kid or kids I don't know how many y'all have that's what I loved about my kids father they never argued with me even when they knew I was upset and I was they'd be like woman I'm not gonna do this with you they show me respect I never had to get into the all out with nobody you know, and I thank God for that. The way y'all carry on, y'all acting like it's a prison sentence. It's not. You mad because you're being bitter. You're not, and I'm not saying, I'm just saying in general, a lot of that's how people respond. They get bitter about something they couldn't control. And that's a human, that's a normal human feeling. You know, that's why we're not supposed to live off our feelings or emotions because they're unstable. They're not stable enough to carry us through life. And that's why God said don't live off of that. But the thing that I'm seeing more with this soft guy era is y'all men giving unto the will of the woman. Huh? Proverbs 31 clearly says, men, don't give your power to a woman. But in order to understand that, you need to go read it and study it and ask God for his understanding of it. Because apparently guys are not getting it. How can a, your your women on the internet tell you how to be a man? And this is a, a judge-free zone over here. I'm just puzzled. Like, I don't know if this is a skit. I don't know if this is supposed to be funny. But if this is what men are starting to do, we are doomed. We are doomed because we already have black men that don't want to work. They want to move in and live off their girlfriend, live off their wife. They want to sit down and play the video game all day long. Then when they want to argue about how a woman ain't treating them right and all doing this, but you're not productive. You're 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 copping out on what you should be picking up. And like brother y'all to say, and I don't care what nobody say, he is the man y'all should one of the men y'all should be following. Cause brother y'all is right. How you nurture your kids' mama. And what trauma you leave her in is what your kids going to be fighting the rest of their life. So, if it's food they need, well, hold on. I might, I, I'm, let me look at my money and see what I can do. I'm going to do what I can, and then next we got to do what I can again. I might can't fill the house up, but I can make sure y'all going to eat every day. <laughs> I trusted my kid's father to go to the grocery store. I, it's a lot of things they used to cook. My kids, I remember my kids waking up to porridge and stuff like that. I remember it, um, my kids, I said, well, I get the kids this weekend for no reason at all. I remember taking trips and they were like, oh, they were, they, they dad. They said, where your kids at with they dad? And no, they didn't pick and choose who what kids they was going to take. All this, oh, I'm just going to buy for my kid. Oh, no, no. See, real men don't do that. They, they would never do that. Only selfish men do that and we innately selfish and that's what makes us wicked and that's why he said he without sin cast the first stone see when we learn who we truly are we start to face our bull crap this right here i'm not judging you sir but this is bull crap and all i see is a disaster happening in your life because you listen to people you don't know People who you don't know if they can find it in God to tell you stuff. People are giving you opinions off their life experience. That is not what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to trust God that's going to show us how to work this out. I know because I'm actually doing it right now. I've been in healing, going through healing for a minute. And every time that I give it to God, it gets worked right out. No hesitation, no judgment. Um, and I do, and I'm, I'm going to take it back. Judgment, when I stand in judgment, that's taking accountability. So I do stand in judgment with God. I want to say that. But I just wanted to make this video just to be supportive of you to say, hey, look, I get it. Parenting ain't easy when you're not with that person. But you don't have to make it hard either. The thing about it is that after all those years, and this is the funny thing, that all those years, after even after my second daughter was 18, like her father told me, we should give it a try, another try. No, we're good as friends. You know, you have, if you love somebody, you never fall out of love. That's why even my ex, I say, I love you. Just don't want to deal with you. And it's the truth. Now, if we had kids, I wouldn't be saying stuff. You know, I'd be like, well, I got to deal with this God. Help me. That's who I relied on God. I just wanted to share that. And just hopefully you hear the message. I'm not judging you at all because everybody gets to choose to live how they want to. But if I were you in your shoes, I definitely would go to God and not women on TikTok. I don't know if this is a skit because y'all people love to fake it till you make it, which in Proverbs they say fake balance is an abomination to God. Fake balance. So faking on this, this app, doing all this stuff, is abomination to God. 
because it's a lie. It's, it, you know, such thing as fake etymology. Study it. You know, the study of words. People don't understand the structure of these foundations that I have on this earth and the ether and the spiritual world. And it's crazy because the more that I study, the more that I realize that we are so out of order. And people who actually think that they're nice people, those are the worst people in the world. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. No, they're not. Because all of the sin in their life, Satan is using them to distract you. Be careful, my guy, that you don't get caught up in the controversy. That you don't get, meet a bitter Betty that leads you on the wrong path. I wouldn't be asking no woman as a man for no advice. You got all these successful men on this app that you could have DM'd and asked them their opinion. But you know, we always want to be right. We always want to win the, the fight, but not the war. See, the war is not traumatizing your kids. We always win the fight and lose the war. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because you know what, I, what, what my therapist told me? You're different. People who went through what you went through, with your parents, they wouldn't even consider talking to their parents. You know, when people sit on my couch and like, I don't talk to my mother. I don't, she's toxic. She just, I don't do that. I reparent myself. Her issues and her sins are her own. I've learned through reading books that support and help me understand what I went through and to forgive and let go and allow God to shift me and place me in a better position in my life to see myself differently helps me way more than coming on this TikTok asking people for their advice. Now, I do listen to some people who are um, psychologists and that are life coaches. Those are fine. But just random people on here, have you really seen what they were posting? Yeah. I love you. Have a blessed day and know you are truly supported by me and God. I'm going to be praying for your family and making sure I keep y'all in front of prayer that y'all work this dynamic out so your children don't have to suffer or be traumatized. You go in God's name and be blessed, my son. And... Like I say, no disrespect, I'm not judging you. I just know that sometimes we don't know what to do when we're in a place where we don't understand. So I love you and you have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Before some of you start thinking he's a non-active father, he's an active father. He has 50-50 custody. He sees his kids like three to four times a week type of situation. All this is is his ex, his baby mama don't got no money. So to me... I think he should fight for full custody and make sure his kids have something to eat every night. It is not his responsibility to make sure that there's food in another grown person's refrigerator. If she does not have the finances to take care of those kids properly, she should not have full custody. If they can work together where he now takes custody of the kids without them going to court until she gets back right, cool. But I'm sorry. One, you got to pick the right person to have a kid with and two it is not his responsibility if he is not with that woman to make sure there is food in that refrigerator he got to make sure his kids should eat so i believe they should stay with him now like he said it himself and the other guy also said it that he takes care of them three and a half days in the week so mom is expected to also take care of them the rest of the week which is also three and a half days so if you're finding yourself in constant deficit what do i mean by that you don't have enough to sustain those three days that your kids have to be with you and it's no fault of your own not because you are not planning for the kids you are not putting money aside for them you're not doing things in a way that would benefit you and the children in the long run but you just you're trying but you know you haven't got it like that right let him have more days right talk to him about it let him have more days so you can sort yourself out and another thing is um if you are overspending like you're living out of your means trying to live that life you know be on the scene and so on and so forth that is irresponsible if you have children okay unless you want to lose custody to the father if you want to give full custody to the dad then might as well just communicate it so you can go and live your best life especially if he's a great dad okay communicate it and go sort yourself out but if you want the children you want that custody you need to sort yourself out Yes, because you both have to be parents. You have to be a parent to your children. He has to be a parent to 
uh, the children as well. Both of you come together to make it work for the children. So if you don't have it like that, be it you're living in an apartment that is like too expensive, downgrade. If you live in a three bedroom apartment and you can't afford it and the bills and everything is piling up, go to a two bedroom in an, in a neighborhood that you can afford. Okay. So that you always have something going on for yourself, especially if you don't want to lose custody. But if you don't mind losing custody, communicate that like then, then let him know, like, I'm going to be the weekend mom. You take the kids. You have the kids. So you can go and live your best life. And that's not being selfish. That's what you can do. Okay. Especially if he's a great dad. I keep saying that. But if you know that he's not that much of a great dad and he leaves the kids to other people, like for other people to take care of them and he's not pulling his own way and so on and so forth, but he has the money. And find ways and means to get more money from him so you can also live comfortably while you're taking care of the kids, if it makes sense, right? But if you want to go 50-50, make sure you're coming correct. There's no way that you should be sitting around expecting him to be filling your fridge. Like some men will do it because they've got it like that. They won't even ask because they're thinking of the kids. But if he hasn't got it like that, then it's on you. Yeah. Because if you're just making money, maybe the same amount of money that he's making, you are spending your money on stuff that you want and you expect him to still pay for the stuff for the children like he's in your life. Uh, to me, it's just a bit, you know what I mean? But if he's got it like that and you know he's got it like that and he's got more than you, I mean, you, this, this is something that you shouldn't talk about because it's about the children, right? And as for him saying that she didn't feel the fridge, if you know she hasn't got it and she's not being irresponsible, but she hasn't got it, you shouldn't be asking this question. It's about the children. It's not about her. It's not about who is the better parent. Who is, it's not about competition. It's about making sure the kids are okay. Okay. So make sure that the kids are taken care of. Right. And if you feel like she is not being able to do those things because maybe she has the kids more days in the week than, you know, she can. And which means that she's not getting the chance to go to work or do more to make her money, then take some of those things off her plate. Like give her two more extra days so she can make some more money so you don't have to pay for food or buy food and stock her fridge up for her if it makes sense right it's co-parenting we are not fighting we're trying to find ways and means to make it work for the children and ourselves right but anyway let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section thank you so much and i'll see you again with another video take care of yourselves bye